we're doing it a little bit differently. We've got Tim Connellan from the Computer Nerd, as we do every Monday. Of course, it's Monday, so we don't like Mondays, but we <laughs> love seeing you. It's so great thank you so much for coming on. And today we're talking about technology terms. New technology is always coming out. And I feel like words are always changing. Exactly. Every once in a while, they're throwing out new. You get new technology come out, they're throwing out new words, and some of those new words are, are kind of ones to get people to build hype on certain <laughs> products and everything so like that. So you go that. out and buy it, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then, uh, and then there's other terms that you're like, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> there's hype Absolutely. behind it, and what, what does it really mean to have that feature to it. So and not only do you have to learn the new technology, but you have to learn all of the words and the vocabulary to go along <laughs> with it. So exactly. I know I don't know all of them, so tell us, teach us, teach <laughs> us a vocabulary lesson. Well, I, one thing you're seeing in, in cell phones is 3G and 4G. Obviously, people know 4G is faster. And uh, but what is what does it mean? Actually, the higher numbers always seem better. Yeah, ex exactly. But really. Uh, uh, 3G is uh, third generation wireless, uh, 4G is fourth generation wireless. Uh, 4G is actually 10 to 100 times faster uh, internet speed and everything like that it's than what, fast. exactly, <laughs> than what uh, 3G uh, is and used to be, still is. Mm -hmm. um, but one important thing to remember, uh, at this point, 4G is great, but it's not available in many areas at this point yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, major cities and everything like like Atlanta, New York, Miami, cities like that, they got 4G and just kind of right around the metropolitan area around there. But in southwest Georgia, really it's not available yet. So there's really no rush to go out and get the 4G phone unless you're doing a lot of uh, traveling and whatnot. So there's no really need to spend all that extra money getting the newest gadget because you might spend that money and not really be able to use it. Right? Exactly, and and like I said, it's eventually going to start spreading, spreading out and hitting more areas like this and and whatnot. But at this point, it's it's mainly just the the major cities that have the 4G service. And you know, you're hearing all this hype. This 5G is coming out soon too. And <laughs> so stick with the 3G. So save a couple bucks. So. Exactly. All right. Well, in addition to all this, you know, 3G, 4G, you hear like this cloud of internet, or mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's the internet. What is what is the cloud? The, the cloud. Cloud is, is kind of uh, just a general term of any internet uh, service that you're able to access from any software application. Uh, basically, any device is a software application you can access. Uh, it's all based on the internet. Uh, you can even consider Facebook uh, cloud-based because you put your information on there, you put your pictures on there, and you can access it from any device. Uh, 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 I've talked about uh, Google Google Docs and whatnot. You, you pull up uh, your Word applications. Instead of it being Microsoft Word on your computer, which is a software-based application, cloud-based would be you pulling up Google Docs from any computer and being able to work on any of your documents from any device that you're on. So it's kind of like an, a network based through the internet. Exactly. That you can just save anything on and then work on it later. So almost like a like an email draft that you can work on anywhere, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. E even email uh, engines where all your emails oh, stored okay. on the internet, you can access it from anywhere. That's a cloud-based uh, system as well. Uh, some of the things that have just been around just as long as the internet's been around is basically technically cloud-based, but it's kind of a newer term they've been throwing around a lot lately. Okay, I know. I've, I've heard that one a lot lately. And you just kind of think this like, almighty <laughs> cloud like hanging up there. You're like, I don't really know. All right, what else have you got for us? Uh, uh, some uh, basic uh, terms when it comes to like you're buying a computer and whatnot. RAM. People, people go, oh, it's storage. Is it a two gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM? What it really is is, is it, with the RAM controls, it's random access memory. And basically, uh, as you're using a computer, the, the more RAM you have, the more multitasking you can do, and the faster the computer will be. It doesn't actually like store your pictures or anything like that. So storage-wise. It doesn't compare to whenever you see like 500 gigabytes or a terabyte or anything like that, where that's actually what stores your your pictures and music and everything like that. But RAM is is just kind of controls the speed of your system. So it's kind of like how fast your computer can retrieve. Like, say I want to play this song, the RAM, however much RAM I have, it would determine how fast it goes and gets it and plays it? Yeah, exactly. Your computer will boot up quicker with more RAM. Uh, uh, you can uh, open up a new Internet Explorer window quicker with more RAM and then just have multiple windows open and switch between them a lot quicker 
then. So it's, it's something important when you're buying a new computer, and it's also important for if you have an older computer that's running slow, RAM is going to be one thing that you're going to want upgrade. It's one of the cheapest, most effective ways of increasing the speed on your computer. Can you just add more RAM to an older computer? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of older computers, they came not maxed out with how much RAM it can, it can take. So basically, if you take an older computer that's running like, a, <laughs> like an old dinosaur, you can actually pop out the old RAM, pop in a, a newer, bigger chip, and your computer actually increase its performance. It'll be quicker, it'll be faster, and less stressful, 